I've I got guess a buddy so. who's totally fluent in Japan. He's lived there for like several years, um, and you know he tells me some stuff about just how differences in the culture and how fucking how, how weird messed and up different. they are. Well, no, but <clears throat> actually, kind of going with that though. Did you know? Because you know. It's a different culture over there. You can buy used underwear, used panties. From oh, yeah, I've machine, heard about you this. Know? I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. that just wouldn't be a thing here. I mean, right. we have our own shit for sure, but... Right. But, like, you know, they found, like, a... Because, you know, there's, like, tentacle porn and all that right. stuff. Like, really weird hentai stuff. They found a, a painting from, oh, like, no, I know what you're talking hundreds about. of yeah. years ago that was, like, a chick getting raped by an octopus. Right, it's a it's thing. Like, it's yeah. got to be cultural, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah or not like not a, cultural, oh. but, like, um... A little deeper than that, maybe. Mm -hmm. If if they are kind of already have those images in their head like that long ago. Or oh, I heard like, I heard someone say that it had to do could have to do with like how sexually repressed the society was for so long, and when you kind of it's you know it's like the Catholic thing with celibacy. Right. You do that and you're gonna get boys getting molested and right. weird, weird shit going on because you're you're suppressing a totally natural human right desire, and so. That's yeah, man. man I, we're getting deep. Getting fucking deep. No, I about don't know. Little boys. About little boys. This is weird. Getting raped by tentacles. Very bizarre. Oh, well, look at the slow moving cannibal. Oh, dude, that needs sense. like messing with your mind. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, uh, have you ever seen uh, what's his face? The guy on YouTube, <clears throat> Dirt Filthy Frank. Yes. He, he's got some really funny videos. I think he's a student in Japan, but he goes from from there to New York. Oh my god, that was close. Life, dude, this is intense. Yeah, and, uh, he's an interesting guy. He's kind of funny. No, he's like, really funny. Like, I, I, got, he cracks me up. He's got a weird up. way about him, but... His videos aren't really well put together or well mm. produced, but he's such a funny guy that it's kind of... What the hell? Why did that one disappear before the last oh. one I put down? Well, what? and he's like... He's... Oh, cool. balls. He's getting popular, too, right? Yeah, he's pretty big right. now. Um, but no, he, he, he does these pranks where I feel like... Because he's half Japanese, half American... And he does these things where he's really obnoxious and loud and bizarre. Things that a Japanese person, a proper Japanese person, maybe wouldn't do. Oh, yeah. But he's got that crazy white person <laughs> in, in them, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, and just the way the, the Japanese react to it is so funny. Like, it's it's hilarious. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, they're, like, running around in those suits, right? Yeah, and yeah, he's, like, screaming yeah. and being all weird. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's great. <laughs> but, yeah, it makes me think, like, I don't know, like... Well, it's probably like he knows that the culture is kind of because it's all so about being polite and, quiet, and yeah. like making a good impression on strangers. Right. So he's like taking advantage of that. Right. Anyway. Exactly. Oh snap! Oh, what the hell? They're the ghosts. Can I jump on? Ghost them? birds. Ghost birds are way oh, worse than normal birds. They are. Oh, look at that one's different. Oh! Oh ho ho! Dude, don't you don't have to oh, point ho, out. Oh ho ho! We don't. What he is? Man. You just point. It's oh. not his fault that he's not transparent, dude. Get over it, dude, man. Dude, this is weird. Where am oh. I going? You don't remember this? No, oh. I don't. This is freaking me out. Bro! Oh. Oh, Jesus. You're doing good. I mean, I, I can't believe you're doing oh good. Oh, my God. usually suck at basically Rem anything you do. I'm also a Danky King man, Danky besides King. being Mario man. A little bit of Diddy Kong in my <laughs> life. A little bit of Donkey go. Kong on the side. Balls! Oh, if you hit that one. Yeah, I know. Like, I know, Christian. I know. I know. Well, but I just want No! You. <laughs> I've kind of figured it out, too. <laughs> if you hit the, the opaque one. You know what I'm going to do? He will become opaque. I'm going to talk to this old cunt bag and save, save my it? game. Good call. Because I definitely don't... Because I want to play straight. We've got you know? a lot of... Yeah. I want to play straight. You want to play straight. We, play have, straight. we have a reputation to uphold, man. Shit, why do you save it again, you idiot? Oh, no. I hit the cancel it's button. It's not like you don't have a thousand coins to use, dude. Relax. Relax. <laughs> do you think that song, Relax, Don't Do It When You Want to Come, do they think me, they really mean like... Think about baseball. What song are you talking about? The that oh, is that the song from Zoolander? <laughs> <laughs> Relax, don't, don't do, do it, it when you want to go to it. Oh, okay. Relax, don't do it when you want to come. Oh, I didn't. It's know. like really. I didn't even really pay. I didn't pay attention to that. When you want to, when you want to, like bust a nut, relax. Don't do it. Try to control it. They're talking about maybe like maybe not even starting sex. You know what song I heard the other day? I was at oh, a maybe. I was at a like that trampoline place I was telling you about. Uh -huh. But they had all this like uh, hardcore hip hop music that I hadn't heard before. And there was, really? There was one that cracked me up. It was went something like, "Don't believe me, just watch. Oh. Don't believe me, just watch." It's just over and over again. And I thought that was the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. 
Have you heard You're that like, song? like, I'm watching. What? What? That's I, bullshit. I have not seen her. Oh, no. No, I have. That's, I think that's, Don't uh. Don't believe me, just watch. I think they're probably remixing that Bruno Mars song. Oh, maybe that's what it is was. hilarious, dude. My wife, my wife has some of the funniest observations sometimes, and and it's a Bruno Mars song where he goes, "Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch." And she was listening to it, and I'm not a fan. It's the first time I had heard it. And she's like, "This sounds like a song that would be on the intro of Goof Troop," <laughs> and it totally does. And so she looked it up, and there were like other people who had oh, Goof, like she wow. googled it, and other people. I think someone even put it to a oh, Goof Troop wow. intro, and it was like, "Of course, this is like a '90s cartoon theme right here." That's one of my favorite things about the internet is that they, they people will take Space Jam and just remix it a hundred yeah. different times yeah. and make like other legitimate sounding. Or songs. you'll get like you'll get like I, I always thought there was such a there's a commercial for this medicine called Delsum. Delsum. Delsum, and like it's a really like a commercial, like a really shitty commercial. But there's like they cut to this. They're showing all the people who use it, and they cut to this guy who's on stage, and he looks like a cross between a comedian and like a motivational speaker. Yeah. And the lights are on, and people are clapping, and he does like this hand point, <laughs> and there's a totally obviously dubbed thing that goes. He goes, "Thank you, Delsum." And it's like you have to see it, but I thought it was so hilarious when I watched it. And so I, like, you know, months later or even years later, I jumped on YouTube and just typed in "Thank you, Delson," and sure enough, oh someone else thought that was hilarious. And like every comment was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like I didn't know other people thought this was funny. You know, <laughs> it's cool that like you dude. Can... I feel like my dad is is he would have been like like a. I don't know if he was really into making memes or I don't know like <laughs> making <laughs> like my dad was in, things. Is that, this the end? It's it pretty looks close. like the end, dude. Like he would. My, this is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. My dad would always detect stuff that was really funny that like then like years later everybody on the internet thought was funny. Oh, like he wow. was. I remember uh, like I had a Chuck Norris doll. Or just whenever Chuck Norris came up in conversation, he'd always like have this like half smile on his face. Or when he saw me playing with a toy, he'd kind of laugh and be like, "I can't believe they made a Chuck Norris doll." Or the That's doll, or whatever. That's funny, man. Chuck Norris doll, and yeah, and then he did that with a couple other like movies or whatever. And um, I can't remember them right now, but yeah, I don't know. And then wow. years later, there's the whole like, if Chuck Norris sleeps with one eye open, right, cause right. he's cool or whatever. <laughs> Whatever that yeah, goes. some of those are hilarious. But that's cool, yeah. dude. That, your dad probably no, has he, good sensibilities. He's he's cool because uh, in a in terms of like movies and music, he doesn't speak English very well because he's you know he's from Mexico, but he knows when a movie's good just because he can relate. He can just feel it on an emotional level. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he like he you know he loved RoboCop and and he uh, he just got like a pretty decent taste when it comes to films even though he might not understand what the hell's going on just because <clears throat> the movie's, movie's working visually well enough mm -hmm. and the performances are convincing enough to where right. he's like oh this is cool or whatever man that's also a good a good like compliment to the movie yeah for sure that's yeah that's cool um but yeah he's usually we're usually on like have similar opinions when it comes to at least movies yeah. we're pretty a little bit different on music but otherwise Huh. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, yeah, like it's like good. But yeah, it goes. It's movies. just a, it's just a testament to the fact that like there's so much more going on than just like the information that is on the script and you're feeding to the right. audience. Like there's right. so much more that that is maybe more important sometimes. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, totally, man. In terms of a good movie experience <clears throat> or whatever. Well, and that's kind of like like I've been trying to write more and I'm working trying to write uh, like a comedy feature. And man, it's so much of it is about what you don't say. It's like trying to, right? I don't know. Unless you're Quentin Tarantino and your dialogue is like really clever and interesting, right? Like he can have a conversation that lasts 15 minutes of just two people sitting at a table. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, no, it, it's an art. Tarantino too, I think, is also. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's almost like half the fun, I guess. Uh, when you watch his movies and and it's yeah yeah it doesn't use the he doesn't it's a lot of dialogue but he doesn't use it in so much that it's for exposition or to move the story yes. along yeah yeah it's sort of to revel in the moment or right. the crazy character that we're watching yeah to build that character in a way you wonder if how much of it is like it's like conversations that just go on in his head and he's right. putting them on paper I thought Death Proof was <clears throat> the the weakest in terms of like the Tarantino movies I've seen just because it felt for me, a little gratuitous. Like, yeah, that's the one man, with all the chicks. They're all like, yeah, yeah, Kurt Russell. 
And it felt like it was a little... Alright, Tarantino, like, we get it. You're mm -hmm. good at dialogue, but... Oh, I it see. It felt a little much. 